what is Redis. So Redis is an open source BSD licensed advanced in-memory key value store where keys can contain data structures such as strings, hashes, lists, sets, and sorted sets. So it's an in-memory key value store with persistence. That means Redis can be used as a database or a caching layer or a message broker. Now I already said that it's BSD license. That means it's open source. Now Redis is written in C and it's NoSQL database. Now what is NoSQL? NoSQL is an informal loosely defined term for non-relational structured data storage systems like MongoDB, Memcached, CouchDB or Cassandra. So following in the footsteps of uh, other NoSQL databases such as Cassandra, CouchDB or MongoDB, Redis allows the user to store vast amount of data without the limits of relational databases. So in NoSQL databases, data can be stored in non-relational way. Now, what does the name Redis mean? Redis stands for Remote Directory Server. It is often referred to as a data structure server since the keys can contain strings, hashes, lists, sets, and sorted sets. So because the keys can contain these type of different data structures, it's often referred as a data structure server, right? So the name come from remote directory server. Now, what is Redis used for? So as I already mentioned that it's an advanced key value store that can function as a NoSQL database or as a memory cache store to improve performance when serving data that is stored in system memory. And also it can be used as a message broker. So it can be used in place of uh, caching systems such as memcached. Now you must be wondering how to interact with Redis. So Redis can be installed on a server and it can be interacted with a command line tool or command line interface which is called Redis CLI. So using this Redis CLI, we can interact with our Redis server. Now this Redis client can be used on any machine. And then when we open this Redis client, which is a command line client, uh, the first line will look like this. So Redis, then this kind of angle bracket. This we will see in the coming videos, how to install Redis and how we can use Redis. Now let's talk about some of the history about Redis. So in early 2009, a developer called Salvatore Sanfilippo, he was an Italian developer by the way, started the Redis project. At that time, he was working on a real time web analytics solution and found that MySQL could not provide the necessary performance. So in June 2009, Redis was deployed in production for a website called log.com, which was a real-time web analytics website. Then in March 2010, a company called VMware hired San Filippo to work full-time on Redis, although Reddit remains as BSD licensed. Subsequently, VMware hired some of the other developers who also contributed majorly to assist on the project. So this was a brief introduction about Redis. So stay tuned and please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.